Ooh. Ah, fresh start in the morning for Roybley. Animal Crossing? On the Nintendo Switch? Eh, I'll try it. Don't know if I'll have time for it. Yes, time to get 10 more bells and then I can pay off my mansion and terraform the town. <laughs> Roy, it's been two weeks. You haven't eaten a thing. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that game looks pretty gosh darn dandy if I do say so myself. Oh, no, no. <coughs> Me? Ah, yes. Hmm, VTech. Uh, used to play this when I was a kid. Y'all remember Alphabet Park? I remember Alphabet Park. Uh, good times. Good times. Uh, I've forgotten the joy of childhood. There we are. Now, let's get started. Ooh. Kobe. <laughs> Might not want to do that one actually anymore. Hey, remember little old me, little silly old six foot Roybethin Arb Sauce the third? I am, I am back. And the amount of times I've said that is actually uh, hilarious. Now, I should let you know, I do have some PSI, some psychic abilities, and this little, this here little noggin of mine, this little feller up here, and I can actually figure out what you're saying to yourselves right now. Oh jeez, Roy, I, I, I fail to recognize the face in the mirror ever since you stopped uploading, Roy, I look and I stare and I cry, and I try to caress my face and my skin just to feel something, but I can't feel anymore, Roy, I can no longer feel the touch of my own hand, let alone the raindrops falling on my face as the weather finally reflects the inner sadness inside of my mind, Roy. Well, I'm actually quite alright, no need for you guys to worry about me, I certainly don't at all ever worry about any of you, and I'm not dead yet, as you can see. Ugh, some reason God ordains that I stay not free from this mortal coil, so here I remain stuck, anchored to this place for some reason. Uh, I had to take a year off, I had to just take my time, you know, just spend a year being really productive, really getting stuff done, getting into the next phase, you know, getting, getting a foothold in the next step of my life, which I am proud to announce to you all is just vibing. <laughs> it's just straight vibing. Now I did cough about 32 minutes and 14 seconds ago, so I probably have about a solid four and a half hours left to just vibe. Or as the elderly boomers try to say when they're relating to their meme-addled grandchildren, uh, chonking. Alright everyone, I've been in quarantine long enough now that I've been driven back from the brink of madness somehow and back into uh, wanting to upload videos. And I, you might be wondering, hey, I'm curious about what you've been doing in your quarantine. Well, you should just know I've been working hard. You know, I'm really a big fan of curb appeal, so I've been fixing up my front yard, making things look nice there. Working on, you know, trying to get money to pay off my debts and loans. No, I'm not talking about fulfilling adult obligations. I'm talking about playing some of that motherfucking Animal Crossing! Thank God for Animal Crossing New Horizons, dude. Like, thank God. And I, you know, it helped me pass my time in quarantine so far. I'm sure it'll help me continue to pass time due to the nature of the game. We'll get more into that later. But I mean, thank God for Animal Crossing New Horizons for saving not only a lot of time that I had to waste, but uh, my Twitter timeline as well. Thank God for saving my Twitter timeline. Cause see, before Animal Crossing New Horizons came out, my Twitter timeline mainly consisted of... Death toll. God save the rich! Estimated number of deaths! Exponential growth isn't real! Change my mind! Eat the rich! I used a large portion of my free time hours. <laughs> <laughs> Your 
brought a wholesome counter activity to all the negative stuff that I've been seeing on my timeline for the last few weeks and really helped me to try and stay positive during these times. Now, instead of all of that negative stuff before, it was a fresh mixture of... Guys! Guys! Check out my villagers! Aren't they so cool? I love them so much. They're so great. No cookie, but that's that's all fine. That's no big deal. I got some cool guys. I got a koala bear. I got a bird. The world is dying and us with it! Well, nobody here are please! Yeah, I think Tom looks just a good guy if you really look at it. I mean, he's loaning you money and giving you zero interest. I think he's a good guy. Fresh death toll! Look at my cute town. I, I started crossbreeding flowers so that I could get violets that were blue instead of purple. Or and I looked, and behold, a pale horse. The rider's name was Death. Oh, peaches! I want to get this out in the open for you all really fast. I love the Animal Crossing series. I'm a biased fanboy when it comes to this stuff. I've loved it for years, ever since New Leaf came out in 2013, and I went back and played all the other games. It's just a fantastic series that I have a lot of love for. And so of course I was excited to play Animal Crossing New Horizons, and, well, as a game, New Horizons is, um, it's... The game is fun. Never before has there been still a level of player creativity and control in an Animal Crossing game. Even in New Leaf, when you were actually the mayor of the town, it was more of a logistical thing that you had creative control over, rather than the actual layout and creation of the town. In New Horizons, they take player control and just drag it, just rip it screaming from the womb, player control, they drag it all the way down, down the hall in the hospital, to the, to the little nursery, and above the nursery it's labeled Natural Conclusion. That's right, we're taking player creative control, and we're giving it to its natural conclusion in the Animal Crossing series. That's what New Horizons does. It's a doctor that helps a woman give birth. I think my analogy worked. Like I said, in New Leaf you can control town ordinances, do logistical stuff, you know, see who would be allowed to join the town, so on and so forth, but it's just taken to the whole next level of New Horizons. You get to choose uh, where villagers' houses get set up if you want to. You choose, obviously, as other games do, your own house set up, but you get to choose also where all the shops and sites of the town get set up, and you get to terraform the island that you're living on, as well as choosing where to put bridges and stairs up to the next escalation of level. You get to design the entire town exactly how you want. From the museum to the Able Sisters shop, you get to choose where everything is located exactly just how you want. And with terraforming, each island is going to look its own. And I know, I know that, you know, in all the Friends Islands that I've visited so far, each and every island is very distinct in memory in my mind from um, one another. Whereas in previous Animal Crossing games, the island wasn't really there as a giant feature. You're focused on the villagers and the player themselves and their customization with their house. Now the island itself is almost like a character, like a villager, if you will, in the game that you get to be very excited about because you're the one making it look exactly how you want in your own image, kind of like God himself from the Bible. The game doesn't give you flat out creative control right from the get go though. You get it slowly but surely day by day and it really gives you a nice sense of progress. It's slow, it's a slow burn, but it's very well paced to the point where uh, each day you're gonna wanna come back and do whatever action you need to do to trigger getting your next step of creative control. And once you're in it, once you're hooked on it and you have full creative control, you now have a whole new just level of the game opened up to you. It's also what gives the game early on that atmosphere of a deserted island. It really helps sink in that you're the one building this place up and propping it up to the level that you get it to however long you choose to play. And it also lends to the game a very solid sense of pace and progression, especially if you play it day by day instead of time traveling. And the game really boasts this just wonderful art style. It's beautiful, it's, it's a very gorgeous game. It's got stunning vistas, views, and landscapes. You can just use the photography mode all day. I know I've spent hours in photography mode. I've also spent hours fishing in this game, just fishing. Nothing else, just tapping A, waiting, weaving, ducking, just waiting. But in all seriousness, for a moment, we are in a truly historic and uncertain time. The way the world was when we went into our fallout shelters is not the way it will be when we all emerge as one. And when we do emerge, we'll no doubt have made sacrifices and suffered rough times in our isolation. And we'll have to now carry those experiences with us into a brand new world, which experiencing in and of its own right is really its own trial and tribulation on top of everything else. As silly as it may sound to those who haven't played it, Animal Crossing's release brought a really nice sense of normalcy to its player base. Especially with the core mechanic being real-time, it helps give players a really nice sense of forward movement, a feel for progression, 
a good routine to keep for their day-to-day -day lives, and overall the most important one is just give us a nice escape into a sense of normalcy in these times when every single day of ours is a bizarre and day-to-day -day stress fest. In a time period where even playing games and watching movies does very little for me to keep my mind from straying back to the craziness at hand in the world, Animal Crossing's mechanics, its aesthetic, and its sense of community all really crescendos in this particular moment in time to help give us all a little bit of solid ground in our lives in these small little moments. The community aspect as well has been super helpful for keeping players who are stranded from each other in this time of isolation connected together over the internet, digitally hanging out and playing games and engaging in fun activities with each other. It really does feel magical at times, and even though I really enjoy it, I actually might be the only one who thinks that, according to the polygons. <laughs> I'll be real with you guys, I sometimes feel down about some of the content that I've put out into the world before. I mean, not everything I've made has been, uh, what you would call quality, and, you know, I mean, like, look at this. What is this? Why is this? Where does this begin? I, 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 how do I even parse something like this? It's ridiculous. But then in these times where I'm feeling a little bit down about stuff that I've made and put out into the world before for people to consume, Kotaku and Polygon always somehow come in to help me uh, stop feeling like shit about the stuff I've made because... Well, Animal Crossing is a contemplative series about small moments. The Nintendo franchise emphasizes simple pleasures like sitting on a tree stump and admiring the rosy caress of a sunset. But social media and its rapid fire updates have changed the nature of the idyllic game for some fans playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, okay guys, I, uh, who? Uh, who? 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 Who even believes that Animal Crossing's social media posts by random fans it ruins the game. It's like a negative post. It's a post about the cool houses that people have. That ruins an idyllic game for you? I don't even believe that these people exist. Who? Bring them to me. Bring me one person. Bring me one, 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 one smithering person. One just slobbering troglodyte person who believes that Animal Cross- Every time that I get on Twitter, I see posts from both friends and internet people that I follow who have these either incredibly ornate and certifiably insane setups on their island. And it honestly feels terrible. Like, who did I think I was playing this game, says Patrick Labello. Patty, 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 can I call you Patty? Do me a favor, sit down, eat your mashed carrots, watch Contagion and Fred Claus like the rest of us have been doing, and grow up! It's Animal Crossing! Surely Patty was the only one who felt that way, obviously. Uh, he was confused a little bit about what the game was, he, had, he didn't know what he was doing going into the series. He's surely the only person in the world who thinks that seeing other people do better at a game than he does ruins the entirety of the game for him in a game that is Animal Crossing. Beto Ribe summarizes the prevalent sense of FOMO and insecurities on social media when he remarks, I love Animal Crossing, but it can be a really stressful game at times. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is just, I just, I had a bad day playing Animal Crossing, I went Silver 3 after I was Gold Nova, fuck this shit, I hate Animal Crossing, that's some stressful, that's some stressful gameplay right there. Fuck yeah, I can use the same joke twice, my fucking channel. Fuck you! I just stepped on the rice cake. Nina Huck, who is in college, says that while she has to worry about exams and homework, siblings and friends who have either lost work or are under quarantine have more time to devote to the game right now. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn those rat bastards getting fired from their jobs and quarantining themselves during a deadly global pandemic, you absolute jackasses. I don't have enough time in my Animal Crossing game to build Ford's Theater, so I feel sad now. Oh well, I guess it's time for me to go do my college class on Psychology 101 on Zoom. Uh, Zoom! 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 <laughs> See the joke there? Because I zoomed in on my face instead of the actual application Zoom. <laughs> I wish I could zoom out of this fucking life, Jesus fucking Christ. Guys, you won't believe how long this fucking article is, okay? I was reading it expecting to see like three statements, max three statements, 
Uh, but I just kept fucking scrolling and scrolling. It's just, it just keeps going. It's the gift that keeps on giving. I'm not gonna read you any more comments because that would just be repetitive and bad content. And we all know I try my best to avoid doing bad content here, so I'm just done. I can't help but just feel a tiny bit disappointed every time I see something cool on Twitter that I didn't find myself. Oh my god, the don't use Twitter! It reminds me exactly of the time I heard some asshole CEO bragging about taking on special eye vitamins that allowed him to meditate faster. Ah. Fucking pandemic, and this is the fucking shit we're talking about? I ever tell you guys about how every time I have this problem with Instagram that I log on to it, I see these people who are built and they're skinny or they're, or they're built, and I just get really jealous and it really ruins my sense of self-image? Oh, you haven't heard me say that. That's probably because I have the fucking body of a fucking African spider god named Anansi. That's fucking right, look at me. I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking gamer, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Uh, it, it's definitely not the spider thing because of my spider hands, you know, these are little, these are definitely little ranchulas here, that are little, oh, 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 little hands, little ranchula here, I'm gonna get you. Oh, little ranchula hands, <laughs> little ranchula hands. <laughs> I've seen a few of you. I've been keeping my eyes open. I've been picking up what you're putting down. I've been watching a few of you, you know, bending the rules. And I don't mean of games or of life. I mean the rules of time and space. Everyone and their mothers right now, they're all bitching about time travelers in Animal Crossing. They all suddenly everyone's upset about it. For those of you who don't know or don't play Animal Crossing, time traveling is basically a, a like, fake mechanic you can do where you basically do what you need to do for a day's worth of work in Animal Crossing in a few hours, and then you change the game's internal system clock uh, to the next day, and then you just progress to the next day instead of being patient and waiting for the next day in real time, which is the mechanic that the game is built upon. You're basically bypassing the game's rules and laws and pacing. I admit, I once too time traveled uh, back in the day on New Leaf on my second game file, uh, just to get things going a little bit faster, because when I first played I couldn't stand the day-to-day -day mechanics. But, I gotta say, I escaped prosecution from the day-to-dayers, uh, came over, I saw the light, and now you can believe me when I wholeheartedly tell you, I'm a I'm a day-to-day -day kind of boy. Especially during a quarantine like this, it's really helped me uh, pace out my days and play the game at a proper rate for how I like to enjoy my games. But with how people are talking online about time travelers and Animal Crossing, you would think that these people committed some sort of like mass felony or helped contribute a giant pandemic outbreak in the world that was killing off tons of people all over the globe. Like, it's... it's... <laughs> I think people really just forget these simple words. It's a game, right? It's a game. We all paid to play it. And because we paid to play it, we can each play it how each of us wants. I want to play it in real time, you can play it while you time travel. I have no problems with that and I don't think anyone should. Although, you should know, uh, while you're time traveling, I will spit on you. No big deal, I do have corona though, so you do have a few days left before you die, you absolute troglodyte piece of garbage, you are inferior to me in every single way, and you're not experiencing the game in a proper way, uh, because you're not playing it the way that I play it, so, uh, fuck you is what I'm trying to say, <laughs> fuck you if you time travel in Animal Crossing, I'll say it, I'll say it, subhuman, maybe, uh, deserve rights, definitely not. I should, like, run for president. I should just fuck it, dude. At this point, I'll just put my name on the ticket. We'll see what happens. Roy Boy 2020. <laughs> fuck it. It's actually kind of hard not to miss time traveling like I used to do back in Animal Crossing New Leaf in this current environment that we find ourselves in. At times like these that are dour and anxiety-riddled, it is nice to think of the time when I used to be able to just skip between, uh, you know, New Year's and Christmas and back into springtime to get cherry blossoms, but of course that was just a video game. Although I do have the next best thing, a real actual time machine I can use. Let's say you and I, we get out of this anxiety real time, we just go check out what's gonna, what, what, what the world's gonna be like, no doubt in this optimistic future that we got going for us, and see what the world, or my world's gonna look like 30 days from now. Let's, let's go do this, yeah, that's a good idea, let's go, let's go, let's go time travel. And we're just gonna go straight into here. I'm going back to April. Shut the fuck up. How do I even end up like that? Green suit? I don't have a green suit anymore. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that I can bring a little bit of levity during this uh, quarantine that we're all in. And I do hope that you and yours stay safe and stay healthy and that we uh, have a better May than in April. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see though. Uh, as for me, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, three weeks, honestly, there's been no effect on me at all. And I think that I can just, I'm ready to keep chugging along, keep being normal. And I just, how'd you get right there? Come on, you, come on. Not right, the camera's on. The camera, Sigmund Frog, the camera is on. I can't, I can't, aw, oh, look at that. My little boy, my little, my little, my little psychotherapist right there. And, uh, I'm not the psycho here, uh, so clearly I'm the therapist. I don't even know what the fuck that was supposed to mean. That was just, that generally just, that, that was just a, that was a full flow state right there. I have no clue. I'm just gonna drink an oil now, screw it.